make YouTube videos, here's four tips that are going to make your life a lot easier. The first thing you should protect is your equipment. This is how you make your videos. This may be how you make your living. This may be how you make money. This may be how you do your YouTube channel. You need to protect your equipment. Clean it up every once in a while. Go through and clean the screens. Get all the dust and the gook and the yucky, yucky stuff off of it. If you're like me and you're all set up and you just walk in and turn everything on, that's okay, but still dust and dirt and things and particles will get on lenses. You should take care of this equipment because that's what you use to make these videos. Get a lens cleaning cloth, a good one. I have a link below to some really professional and good lens cleaning solution and clean your lenses every once in a while and you'll drive yourself crazy trying to figure out what's wrong with my videos when the problem is is somebody walked by and just accidentally did that awful thing of put their finger on your lens. Oh, it's so irritating. Clean your lenses, clean up your area. Just make it nice to come in. You want to come up and go, yeah, I want to make some videos. You don't want to come up to your space where you're shooting videos and go, ugh, I hate this place. So take care of your gear, take care of your equipment, and take care of your space. Next one is your passwords. This is really, 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 let me say it again, really important. It was about a year or a year and a half ago. I wasn't that great on my passwords. My YouTube channel got hacked, it got taken over, it got shut down. It was a freaking nightmare for me to recover for this. It took me about mm, six months to recover from that. Somebody told me a computer password, if it's like eight characters long, you could have a computer go through and go through all the permutations and it takes something like a month to do it. But when you go to a 12 character password, it does something like years or there's some math here that I don't get, but don't use a little short password like, oh, it's me. Really protect your passwords. This is one of your biggest assets. And I can tell you from experience, if someone gets a hold of that password and hacks your password, it can get really ugly. The next and possibly the most important asset you have making a YouTube channel, running a business or anything, is yourself. You are the asset. Without you, nothing gets done. You don't have to go crazy about it, but you should just take care of yourself. Try and get sleep if you can. Eight hours of sleep every night. Try and eat good food. Don't be eating candy and sugar all the time. You'll just, you, you wear the body down to the point where you'll just feel terrible and you won't know why. It's because of your diet. I'm not saying go for some crazy, fad, nutty diet. Just eat your chow, man. Just eat your three meals a day. Get enough sleep and take a look outside. Go take a walk. Go take a walk around the block every day at least once or go out and see something else other than your camera screen or sitting in a cubicle or whatever you're doing. Just get some sort of exercise. These bodies, they like to be exercised and they will go to pot really fast if you don't do anything with them and get them out and move them around. Make sure you do it that way too. Move them around like that. So take care of yourself. You're the asset. If you don't take care of yourself, you got nothing. Number two, negativity. Don't make nasty videos, negative videos. People are coming to learn something or to listen to you or to possibly be entertained in some way. If you get on there and you're like, oh, this is terrible and that's terrible and this is terrible and nah, 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 nah. It may be okay for some channels if it's a humor type channel, but sitting there and just complaining and being upset about everything, it's not a channel people wanna watch. There's enough negativity in the world, enough people bitching and complaining about everything. They don't need to go on the YouTube, come to your channel and get even more of it. Make it uplifting, give them a little fun, give them a little something that they walk away from it and they go, hey, that was cool, I feel better after watching that video. Next, don't get into, excuse the expression, internet pissing contests with other people. There's not a lot of people who do this. It's really, really a small percentage. They'll get up there and they'll leave comments on your video. Oh, your dog sucks or your feet sucks or you look stupid or whatever. Trying to engage you in coming back and going, well, you suck. No, you suck. Well, I hate you. Well, I hate you. They're not doing anything. They're either upset about something and just lashing out at you. They're not a subscriber you really want anyway. They're not a person you want watching your video or they're trying to troll you. They're trying to 
grab you into their crappy little world. And I've seen this happen. You get in there and they're like, nah, 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 nah. and then you come back and go, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. and they go, well, nah, 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 nah. and you come back, blah, 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 blah. and at the end, they just kind of are like, ha, 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 ha. gotcha. Just don't engage with that kind of stuff. Just either block the person or delete the comment or whatever. Don't worry about it. You got plenty of other people in the world that are good people and that will leave you nice comments or want to have an actual conversation with you. You don't have to engage with these people. Number three, sex, religion, politics, etc. This also kind of falls into the trolls that come along and they try and engage you in these sex or religion or sexual preference or whatever conversations. Just leave it alone. Just stay away. Just don't do it. If you were sitting in a restaurant and eating or something and somebody walked up to you and went, well, you know what? Uh, this sexual this preference or this thing or this religion is better and walked up to you, you'd be like, this dude is nuts. Get the heck away from me. I'm trying to eat here. The same thing happens on YouTube. Unfortunately, they're sitting behind this wall called their computer and you don't really know who the person is. You can't see him and go, this dude's nuts. Just don't engage with these people. Just, if you want to, comment back and say you're crazy. But remember the previous tip, you start getting into this back and forth thing. Just delete it. Just don't engage. Don't do anything with these people unless you find that fun to the detriment of your channel. But my suggestion is just leave it alone. Don't get upset with these people. Don't engage with these people. Just go out and make another video. Number four, just create. If you make films, or you make videos, or you make music, or you do YouTube or whatever, by definition, you are a creator. You are a creator of things. You're not like that, that little tiny percentage I was talking about. These people don't create anything but havoc. You're a creator, so splurge on that. Go create things, go make videos, go write music, go have fun. Just remember this, this is the watchword. Create, create, create. You may just be starting out on YouTube and that's totally okay, everybody started somewhere. But since no one's really watching your videos, instead of spending the time getting all wrapped up in why no one's watching your video or you don't have subscribers or whatever, use that time to create those videos. Create video after video after video. Who cares what they are? You're getting the experience of creating these videos, of uploading them, of filming them, of adding subtitles, of doing all these things. So later on as your channel grows, you're not trying to figure it out then going, ah. So if you're doing anything that is basically creation, well just keep doing that. Anything else that is not creating that, just throw it overboard. Humans have this ability to do that no other life form can do. That is, they can think things up and they can create new things. Creating things is awesome. Splurge on that. Leave a comment below this video. I read every single one and I answer every single one. Please like the video and please share this video with Wild Abandon. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm calling for some takeout. Yeah, I'd like some Moo Goo Guy Pan, whatever. What is Moo Goo Guy Pan anyway? Moo Goo Guy Pan, some guy with a pan. Anyway, some Moo Goo Guy Pan, some beef fried rice, you know, ri fried rice with beef in it. Oh, and I want two orders of Mushu pork because anything that says Mushu, I mean, you gotta eat something that says Mushu, right? And do I want it for what? Takeout? Takeout? Oh, takeout, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought this was an outtake.